imposter syndrome, which basically is self-doubt. So tell us about that. Well, all of us it's, uh, at some point in life, we really encounter that. You reach a point where you are like struggling, you have that, the fear, the fear again that we mentioned. You mm -hmm. feel like maybe you have set very, very ambitious goals and it is important to do so mm -hmm. in light of uh, former Liberian President Sir Ellen Johnson Sirleaf that if your dreams do not scare you, they are not big enough. They are not big enough. So don't f uh, fear to dream big, mm -hmm. but at the end of the day, uh, believe in yourself. There's a saying that goes, uh, uh, believe is a strange thing. It gives one the power to do the impossible. Mm -hmm. So just believe that uh, you have got this. Okay. Yes, believe in yourself. So someone said, dream big and give God the bill. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> nice one. <laughs> Which is another one. So talk to us about persistence. The fourth P. Yes. Yes. Persistence, persistence. It's my favorite because as the author of the X Matrix 7 piece of success, mm -hmm. I really live that P. I'm very persistent in life. I don't believe in mm. uh, uh, getting a no for an answer. You know, okay. no will simply mean next opportunity, so to speak. Mm. So I would urge fellow Kenyans out there and everybody watching us to really not uh, never give up. Keep knocking that door. If nobody is opening, go back, get a sledgehammer, come and break that <laughs> door. You know? If not, go through the window. Yes. So uh -huh. be persistent. Keep getting up every day even if uh, all signs are that uh, things are not working like we're in a season of um, uh, COVID-19 people mm. have lost jobs um, recently uh, some have closed businesses so things are not good the economy is not very good mm -hmm. but we have to keep persisting we have to keep sending more applications because there are other openings we have to keep hope alive and so persist so whatever you do, never give up on hope. Yes. Okay. And here you've said, uh, if things don't work out, stop complaining. Try again instead of shifting the blame to other people. What is about? What is it about? You know, people shifting the blame to other people. People find uh, shortcuts or uh, uh, becoming escapists. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to blame other people for your woes. You mm -hmm. want to blame others when you don't realize your goals. It's important to take responsibility mm -hmm. and be in charge. And be in charge. Yes. And what is failure, really? Because uh, some people see failure as uh, the end, but some people see it, see it as a means to where they're going. Failure is important in life. Uh, we learn from failure. Mm -hmm. We have failed at some point. So failure is basically... Um, you know, that situation or uh, point in life when you, you don't achieve uh, the aspirations you had or like you take a detour. Mm -hmm. You wanted to achieve this maybe by June. Then in, in June, you are not even quarter way there. So I would advise that we re-strategize mm -hmm. uh, instead of just giving up. So failure is basically um, not being able to achieve what you aspire to achieve mm -hmm. uh, within the set deadline, so to speak. Mm -hmm. yes. So we should take failure as a stumbling block, as a stepping stone instead of a stumbling block. Yes, right. you take failure as a stepping stone, mm -hmm. as a learning point, okay. uh, so that uh, you don't get stuck with your failures, to, so to speak, but rise above that mm -hmm. and uh, take the lessons with you because it's very important to take le the, the lessons because like this COVID time, whatever people have gone through, if someone has not learned, mm -hmm. uh, then maybe they'll never learn. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, talk to us about the fifth P, positive attitude. Good, fifth, uh, positive attitude again, another very important P, mm -hmm. which is, um, as the P says, being positive, you know, mm -hmm. uh, Believing you can remember Barack Obama, Barack Obama, the 44th president of the United States of America. Mm -hmm. He rose to the presidency through uh, positivity. His uh, slogan was, yes, we can. Mm -hmm. So it is important uh, for everybody to, to be positive, even if, even if the situations and mm -hmm. circumstances uh, depict otherwise. So keep hope alive, uh, keep pos uh, be positive, that uh, tomorrow the sun will rise again. Be a the better darkest day. hour may be is just before dawn, but dawn is coming. Mm. Yes. Okay. Thank you for that. The sixth one, the sixth P. Yeah, sixth P is passion. 
-hmm. passion. You know, passion is ba basically that barely controllable emotion. Stephanie, I can see passion in you as we are handling this interview because uh, you are a fit to be a presenter. Being passionate as a writer is giving all you can mm -hmm. in, the, in, in your work, like I do that in my books. Mm -hmm. Being passionate, ni kujituma. kujituma. In the words of uh, our former director, may he rest in power, Dr. Geoffrey Griffin, uh, founding uh, NYS and founding Starry Boy Center, mm -hmm. he used to tell us that when you are given a coffee cup to wash, wash it like it has never been, been washed. washed before. Mm, my goodness. That's about passion, going the extra mile. Uh -huh. Water boils at 211 degrees, but at 212th degree, after one additional degree, that water turns to steam. It is about going the extra mile, about that one extra degree, passion. The extra factor. Yes. That's, that's what makes you stand out. Yes. Your passion. Yes. And uh, I love how you do the review after every chapter. And here you've written on a scale of one to four. Uh, would, how would you, where would you rate yourself with regard to your attitude when pursuing an objective? So is it important for us to also just have that in mind when we're pursuing something? What's my attitude towards this thing? And make sure that I'm in check. It's very important to really review yourself mm -hmm. and also rate yourself without being very hard on yourself because like we do this with uh, the other side of, of my life besides being a writer and a mm -hmm. corporate uh, MC and marketing consultant, we also train corporates. And when you are doing team building, mm -hmm. we have a recap, mm -hmm. a set of activities. After every activity, we have a session to really reflect how have we fared in mm -hmm. that activity. So it's important to take stock at different intervals in life. How well are you progressing? Mm -hmm. On a scale of like one to five, mm -hmm. are you uh, inconsistent? Are you outstanding? Without being very hard or be being so generous with yourself. With yourself. It's very important. Okay. Yes. And uh, why is it important? Uh, I was hearing a talk by Vosi, one of the famous speakers, and he was saying that you need to fall in love again with what you do. Mm -hmm. And this, I, I, I believe, is still in pas on passion. So why do you need to fall in love again with something that you love doing? Because for someone, maybe they went into, they love cooking, they opened a restaurant, but you know, there's a lot of things, there's the budgeting and all that, which you are not prepared for, and you find that you are, it's a burden to you. Mm -hmm. So why do you need to go back and fall in love with that thing again? Because I would say there was the initial inspiration, the trigger that uh, gave you a hint that mm. this is it. You know, when you keep finding what your purpose is, what you like, uh, mm. and you find it, then maybe at some point you detour. It will always be important to come back mm -hmm. to, to really what you are good at and what you love doing there are many things in life you know finding the coke in life mm. so as much as you may go around about uh, or, or around it it's always good to, to come back and um, pursue what you are really good at mm -hmm. in as much as you detoured to continue uh, being of great value mm -hmm. yes so it's important to do what you're really passionate about yes it it's important it worth it. and uh, for record I may also mention in the in the interim mm -hmm. in the interim as much as uh, uh, let's say you are good at teaching and there are no uh, teaching jobs or opportunities uh, forthcoming. Do any other thing. Make some dollars in between. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. don't just uh, you, uh, uh, constrain yourself uh, and lock yourself out of other opportunities simply because you are a musician, yet maybe you can also crack a joke or two. <laughs> if there's a platform to crack, uh, uh, to do comedy, please do comedy as you wait for an opportunity mm. to, to go back on track. All right. Yes. Okay. Talk to us about the seventh P. That is people. Good. Uh, my all-time favorite, maybe. <laughs> <laughs> people. Uh -huh. um, it's all about connecting, building mm. your network. Because in the words of Robert Kiyosaki, the author of Rich Dad, Poor Dad, and many, mm -hmm. and amongst other books, he mentioned that the richest people in the world look for and build networks. Everyone else looks for work. Exactly. So it's such an important thing, uh, Stephanie, to really uh, grow your network. Know people, and the reverse is also true. Those people should also know you. 
those people should and this is on networking and we talked uh, with another guest on networking how important is it because people really uh, don't understand the importance of your networks how do they help you well basically networks help you in every aspect of life mm -hmm. and uh, especially if you have good relationship and good relations with your network mm -hmm. they'll come in they'll come through uh, in your time of need uh, when you are really in that tight corner and also in your moment of joy and it's important I, m I mention this uh, keeping in touch kids keep in touch strategies take mm. to people flowers and chocolate it doesn't mean uh, literally that way yeah. uh, give them what they like or what they love mm -hmm. if uh, someone uh, prefers to be emailed instead of getting a call do email you are in the book I've mentioned the 50 contact database mm -hmm. which now moves to a hundred contact database okay so your 50 people mm -hmm. do email them check on them at least once a month mm -hmm. uh, you know there is a Pareto principle 80 or 80 20 rule mm -hmm. like you wear uh, 20 percent of the clothes in your wardrobe 80 percent of the time so why focus on the 50 contact database these are the people if you are really in touch with them they can now lead you to a thousand ten thousand others mm -hmm. so find these uh, 50 people keep in touch with them regularly see at wakati ukona tu na unashtukia tu eh umeingia kwa whatsapp group ya Kupanga Arusi. Now you move from Jongia for the last five years. Exactly. <laughs> so keeping in touch is very important mm -hmm. to nurture those relationships. It mm -hmm. takes time, it takes energy, it even takes resources because even at some point you may need to, to buy your mentor or your friend some lunch. Mm -hmm. So invest in okay. building relationships. And why is it important to have a mentor in you know achieving success? It, uh, a mentor helps with accountability because a mentor is that... Uh, big figure so to speak he or she could be actually younger than you mm -hmm. but more skilled and more resourceful so this is the person who would hold your hand you keep comparing notes with how you are progressing mm -hmm. and they advise you because they are they are richer in uh, knowledge they are richer in skills so it's important to have that um, uh, father figure that big uncle so to speak mm. and by the way nimekuwa nikitetea the big uncle ambaye alipewa cv na japea na kazi exactly <laughs> you, you could you be know. the problem because uh, mm. maybe you haven't grown your personal brand very well so mm. you need to work on ourselves before, before blaming that uncle even the cv you are giving to the mm. uncle needs to be a very well presented uh -huh. so you need to build on yourself make sure what you're giving out they because they are also accountable to you when they refer you right yes so you need to make sure that you are up to uh, the standard Correct. or something and so uh, you've said that networking is very important you've mentioned some quotes here as an individual i can smile but together we can laugh so basically networking will help you get through doors that uh, by yourself you couldn't walk through i, I agree all right. So thank you for the seven P's of uh, success. What are some of the other books as we close, come to a close, that you have written? Yeah, uh, The X Matrix Seven P's of Success was uh, my first book. Mm -hmm. um, we did actually, I did a DVD live recording of the same in 2015 and uh, launched the book in 2016. Mm -hmm. My second book uh, is titled A Better Tomorrow being positive believing that tomorrow will be better mm -hmm. and then my third book is ready but not yet in the market it's currently uh, with the publisher mm -hmm. but will be uh, out in the course of the year it's uh, i may not mention the title uh, okay. <laughs> for, for now <laughs> uh -huh. when we launch maybe you can have another session okay sure yes so those are i have three books so far mm -hmm. yeah and i'm also currently uh, in a writing fellowship known as the african liberty to really own my writing skills and I also write for uh, Kirat Africa. Mm, yes. Okay, quite something. So uh, where can people find you if they want to get your books, or if they want to just talk to you? I am on social media. Uh, my website is uh, www.jamlikkogi.co.k. Mm -hmm. uh, my Facebook page is jamlikkogi, a.k.a. MC Kogi. On Twitter, at MC Kogi. I'm also on Instagram at mm -hmm. MC underscore Kogi. Even on LinkedIn, you know that's where professionals meet, yes. Jamlik Kogi. So if you search Jamlik Kogi or MC Kogi on any of the platforms, I'll be there and uh, willing to engage.
Okay, thank yes. you. Thank you for uh, the insights on uh, success. Uh, any call to action uh, that you'd want to tell the youth as we come to a close? This is your camera. Good. My call to action to youths and um, all who are watching us this morning is to charge ourselves to really take that very first step. You know, that we stop procrastinating, talking of that one day I'll achieve A, B, Z, but move from one day to day one. Mm -hmm. uh, believe in yourself, get a mentor, and instead of just doing something, get something done. Thank, Thank you. you very much, Kogi, for coming on board and for sharing with us. Uh, this insight. That has been our interview on the demystifying success, the seven P's of success. And my take home from this is good intentions will be recognized, hard work will be praised, but only results will be rewarded. I don't know what you've taken from this, but I hope there's something because I know there's something for everyone. The hashtag we are using today is why in the morning at y four at Stephanie Ayeta and at Ramaguku. We take a short break and we'll be back with Val.